Good morning, guys. It's Ricardo, junkguysdfw.net. Calling all junk removal companies local tomorrow at 12 p.m. here in Dallas, Texas, is a local junk removal summit. All small business entrepreneurs starting a junk removal business, thinking of starting a junk removal business, or already own a junk removal business, come to the property tomorrow here in the link below I'll give you the address message me I'll tell you but anyway guys we'll be talking about a lot of things at this meeting uh, especially ways to work together and that's the one of the reasons why I wanted to do this video about working together with your local junk removal company see a lot of I think there's a, a misunderstanding about local junk removal entrepreneur businesses uh, entrepreneurship overall and just businesses our competitors is not Julio's junk hauling and Steven's junk hauling that are located in the same city. No, we that's not our competitor. Our competitor competitors should be the big three, and that is 1-800-JUNK-KING and College Hunks Hauling Junks. Those three combine on a daily basis do about 25 to 50 jobs a day. While your small junk removal company is fighting for one or two jobs a day, these guys are doing 35 to 50 a day. Believe it or not, all of them combined. And I, I want to be sure that y'all realize that we small businesses, small junk removal businesses are not fighting amongst ourselves we we actually need to work together working together with your local junk removal company your local uh competitor is better than fighting with them i'm going to tell you i'm going to tell you here in dallas and here in texas uh, see th another thing is that texans are bred a different way uh we're not like californians we're, we're definitely not like new yorkers we're, we're just bred a different way one thing about texans is that we're a brotherhood uh, texans work together Texans are men of, of word. They're men of trust. We, you can shake a person's hand and, and that can be a contract. I don't know how. I've never lived somewhere else. I'm not a New Yorker. I'm not a Californian. But, you know, I think we're the only junk removal um, state that we all work together. You know what I mean? And it's weird because here in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, I know 10 junk removal companies that are located in Fort Worth and I know 10 that are located in Fort Worth and 10 that are located in Frisco. And we all work together. We're all friends. I want y'all to look at this video, realize that it can be done in Ohio. It can be done in, in California. It can be done in New York. You have to give it a chance because... In long term, in, in a long term business plan in the future, you're gonna need one in, one another. I think I only see one eight hundred junk king and college hunks getting bigger. In the future, they're gonna start taking more jobs. They're gonna adapt to the pricing structure that we have. They're gonna adapt to the estimate ways that we do estimates. And I'm gonna guarantee you something: that these people are gonna start weeding us out. If y'all don't work together to cut costs, to cut, cut, efficient, cut efficiency, cut time, and especially expenses, then you're going to realize that your competitor is not Julio down the street. It's not Patrick's hauling trash junk removal business around town. It's the big three. The big three are the ones that are really causing most of the damage to you. Imagine, I want you to imagine this. I want you to imagine 1 800, Junk King, and College Hunks hauling junks pulling their trucks out of the Metroplex, a out of your city, out of your state. And imagine how much business you would have, how much opportunity you would have. Now take, take that in consideration. These three guys. Pull out of your city, out of your town, out of your region, your hood. Imagine how much business you would have. They're the ones that you need to worry about, not the small businesses. Unite. I'm telling you, I'm calling out all the junk removal small businesses. Unite amongst yourselves. Make friends. Think of ways that you can cut costs. Think of ways that you can save time. Think about the efficiency in your work daily schedule. 
what you can do, how y'all can work together, and think of some program all, all of y'all in your city, in your town, in your state can do so you can be a better business. Because see, your competitor are not the small guys. They're not the small business owners. It's the big three. And I will predict to you this. The big three are coming after the small businesses. In the future, a junk removal is going to be a lot tougher. Right now, the economy is thriving with, you know, economic stimulus checks, unemployment, PPL loans, EIDL loans. Everybody's got money. But when it gets slow, I'm going to tell you something. The big three are going to take advantage of that. They're going to start eliminating us if we all don't do something about it soon. You think I'm talking nonsense? I want you to look at a video that I did last year about COVID and what I predicted COVID was going to do for junk removal. Look at that video. Because about a one year ago, I predicted that COVID was going to help us out and we were going to peak. We weren't going to be affected. I predicted that. And there's a video that I did about COVID, about how the future of our business was going to go in the next year. I know for a fact our business is going to hit a wall in the next couple of eight months. And you'll see. You'll remember this video. Unite. Come together as one. Come together with your local competitors. Not the big three. There are not our friends. The small guys, they're our friends. I'll leave you with that. And don't forget, guys, local Junk Removal Summit tomorrow, Sunday at 12 p.m. here in Dallas, Texas. Message me below if you're interested. Come on out. Bye-bye, guys.